Hi, this is Kathy Koliakovo with Time on Task Virtual Assistant Services, your social media VA. We're here today to show you how to use those Facebook friend lists that we showed you in the recent post on how to create those friend lists on Facebook. So at this point you've created your friend lists and now you're going to learn how to use them. The main thing that I use them for is it's a way for me to be able to follow the people on those lists a little more closely. When you sign into Facebook and you're at your home page, you'll be in your news feed area and you can look at the top news or the most recent news of everyone that you're connected with. With a friend list, however, you can look at specifically what those updates are for those people on the list. You do it by going over to your friends button on the left menu. You may have a lot more than will show, so you can just hit the more button in order to see them. So here we see all the Facebook friend lists that I have. So for instance, if I wanted to see today what the people in Halifax Dartmouth that I'm connected to are posting about, I'll click on my list and it will come up with the news feed for those people. You can do this for any one of your lists. So that's a really good way to keep in touch with those groups in case you're missing it in the larger news feed that comes from everyone you're connected with. The next thing that you can do is when you have a, an update that you want to post, you can share those updates specifically with people on a certain friend list. So if, for instance, you want to go in, we'll just say, do testing out training. So we're going to share this update. And when you do this, you can attach a photo, a video, an event, or a link. And still, you can share it with a specific person. This little button here always allows you, in any case, to decide who you want to share this update with. So in this case, we're going to hit Customize, and then we're going to hit Specific People. Now you could actually type one specific person in, or two or three if you wanted to, or say if I wanted to share this with my Halifax Dartmouth friend group, I click that, hit the Save setting, once I hit Share, then only those people on that list can see that update that I've posted. So that's another effective way to do it. I do it, you'll, you saw me mention the, my little list, the Browse Gals. Well, we have a friend that comes out and does eyebrow waxing for friends, and we do it on a party basis. So when I post those events, I only share it with the people on that list. Now everybody knows what I'm doing, but that's fine. So that's a really effective way to control your own sharing in your news feed, whether it's a photo album or one picture or a link or an event you can do it that way as well. The other thing that you can look at is you can, if you're on a Facebook page, let's, um, I'll just go over to my Facebook page here. When you're on a Facebook page, one of the things that you can do with that page is go down and suggest it to friends. When you make a suggestion to friends, it's going to pick up your entire list of friends and you would have to pick people one by one to invite them. However, if you have a friend list, Halifax, oops, filter friends, sorry, you don't want to find friends. That would be if you wanted to find one person. Filter friends. So if I wanted to suggest this page to all of these people, I'm going to click the list and then you have the option of selecting all. That's not an option you get when you're just looking at your entire group of lists to invite and it will gray out people that are already connected to that page. You can add your personal message to it as well and then send the invitations. So again, another effective way to use your friend lists. The other thing that you can do with that, let me get rid of this here, is your privacy settings. You can control who sees what in your privacy settings. So you go over to the account button, down to privacy settings, and depending on what you want to do or what you want to look at, you can go into the custom settings. So for instance, things I share. Because of what I do for a living, I have a lot of things open to a lot of people. Um, but say, you know, we'll go with religious and political views. If you only wanted certain people to see that, you can again customize this to specific people and type in your list. And there I've got a friend list for VA. So if I only wanted that those people on that list to be able to read that information, I could save that setting in my privacy settings. So another effective way that you can use your friend lists. 
so that's the main topics that I wanted to get across to you today in this video on how to use your Facebook friend list. If you have any other questions on using them or if you have a really good success story that you've done with your own Facebook friend list, please feel free to share it in the comment section of our blog here. And as always, our Facebook page, Time on Task VA Services, is always open for questions, networking, whatever you'd like to ask on the wall, you're more than welcome to do that as well. And you find that by going to facebook.com slash timeontaskva. Hope this helps you manage your friend list a lot more effectively on Facebook and have a great day.